Hi, this is Nancy Priya, CS Department, Perry Institute of Technology. This video is for BCSC students, second year, fourth semester, 2017 regulation. And from the subject, Design and Analysis of uh, Algorithm Unit 4, which is Iterative Improvement, I am going to show you the video of maximum matching in bipartite graph. So, what do you mean by matching here? Matching is nothing but pairing. Pairing two vertices from two different sets. So, uh, for example, if there are M applications to uh, an N job, say for example. So, these applications are matched with a particular jobs and the jobs are assigned uh, with that applications. Say for example, there are uh, four applications and uh, three jobs. So, how will I assign? I will assign, uh, say for example, the first application with the first job, second application with the second job and even the third application with the second job and the fourth application with the uh, third person, third job. Okay, so these are all the applications and these are all the job. The applications are assigned to jobs. So this actually looks like a bipartite graph and this is called as matching, which means pairing. Pairing between two set of vertices. One vertex is from application, one vertex is from job and we are making a pair out of it so this is actually uh, the main thing uh, in matching and one more thing is we are taking uh, these two uh, pair right an edge contain two vertices and this vertex is from particular set and this vertex is from another particular set okay so uh, uh, you'll uh, know this uh, you will understand this deeper when you get into the topic actually. So, this is just like an introduction for matching. Okay. So, matching between two set of vertices. Okay. What do you mean by bipartite graph? A graph, generally we refer a graph G as V comma E, right? V is vertices and E is set of uh, edges. In which, here in bipartite graph, we are going to divide the vertex set V into two distinct set of vertices. The vertex V is going to be divided into two distinct set of vertices which is X and Y. So, the vertex V will be divided into X and Y. Say for example, uh, this kind. So, this section of vertex is called as X and this section of vertex is called as Y. So, as a total, you will be having total set of vertices. For example, V equal to. So, this will be the total set of vertices. And in that set of vertices, we will be having two divisions. One set of vertices will be of X and the other set will be Y. So, this is actually the representation of bipartite graph. So, how will be the edges? So, we have spoke about the vertices here. How will be the edges in the bipartite graph? So, each edge will have one end say for example if this is an edge edge contain two vertices right so one edge one vertex will be from a vertex set x and the other vertex will be from the vertex set y so this is the actual condition of the bipartite graph one thing is the vertex set will be divided into two partitions two distinct set so the thing is if few vertices are in set x those vertices will not be in set y so, that is the actual thing uh, you need to remember. And the second rule is one end will be from the vertex set X and the other set, other end, other vertex will be from the vertex set Y. So, consider this example. It will make you clear much more. So, uh, this example I have taken here. So, X set contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices and the Y set contains 4 vertices. So, as a whole, we have a vertex set V and that V contains A, B, C, D, E, N, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, this will be my actual vertex set for the graph. And since it is a bipartite graph, I have divided into two partitions. A, B, C, D, E will be of partition X and 1, 2, 3, 4 will be of partition Y. So, the vertex that is coming in vertex set X will not be coming in vertex set Y. So, that is how we can uh, look into uh, it through a property. 
So x union y, what will be x union y? x is this set of vertices and y is this set of vertices. What will be the union? If I have a union, I will get the vertex set V, the total set of vertices for the particular graph. So what will be the intersection? So this is set of vertices in x and this is set of vertices in y. What is the inter intersection between these two will be null. So I think this property made you clear. So the vertex that is in x vertex, vertex set will not be there in the y vertex set. Similarly, the vertex in y vertex set will not be in the x vertex set. So this is called as disjoint set. So, so this is what I told you earlier, disjoint set. So bipartite graph contain two disjoint set of vertices. Okay. And one more thing, the main the main rule that you need to remember in bipartite graph is so we'll be having edges only between two disjoint vertices and not between the vertices within that particular vertex set. So to make you clear, see look into this graph. I have an edge that is having one end in x vertex set and the other end in y vertex set. Similarly, this edge having one end in x vertex set and the other end, say for example, edge E1. And I'm going to name it as edge E3, E5, for example. So E1 is the edge having one end at x, one end at y. E3 is an edge which is having one end at x, one end at y. E5 is an edge having one end at x and one end at y. So the edges will be matched only between these two disjoint vert vertex set and not between the vertices of a particular set okay they will not get connected within their particular set they will be connected only with the other set that is the main rule that you need to remember so the vertices of the same set are not connected okay and the next thing that you need to uh, know for matching is the actual meaning of the word called matching what is matching? So here you will be representing matching using a alphabet called as capital M. They, so they will be representing it using capital M. Matching in a graph is a subset of edges that no two edges share a vertex. What does it mean? So matching is nothing but a subset of edges. So say for example, I have edges E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5 as a as a verti edge edges of a particular graph. So these are the edges of particular graph say, say for example. So I have a graph G and E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 are the edges of that particular graph. And what is matching? Matching is nothing but subset of edges. So, so matching is nothing but the edges from that particular set. So say for example E1 and E3 can be a matching set. E1, E3 can be a matching set. Matching is nothing but subset of edges. I will tell you how we will uh, be choosing matching. But here just to understand, matching is nothing but a subset of edges. So this is total number of edges and matching will be having one or two edges from that particular uh, edge set. Okay. So how will you determine the matching in the sense? So say for example, this is the bipartite graph that I am going to consider now. Okay, this is from set X, this is from set Y. So, consider this as an example. So, how many edges are there in this question? 1, 2 and 3. So, for this graph, I have 3 edges. So, my edge set will be E1, E2 and E3. Edge set will be E1, E2 and E3. So I am going to find the matching set now. How will I find the matching set? Matching is nothing but the subset of edges, right? So generally I will be having my edge set as E1, E2, E3, correct? Okay, now I have to determine my edge set. So how will I determine is, if suppose I am choosing this edge as my matching edge, I cannot choose this edge as my matching set again. Why? Because no two matching edges will be adjacent on a particular vertex. So the adjacent edges 
any one can be chosen as matching edge both cannot be chosen why because they are adjacent on a particular vertex so that is the actual meaning here no two edges share a vertex so if i consider this edge as my matching edge i cannot take e2 as my matching edge whereas i can take take e3 as my matching edge why because these two are not adjacent to each other which mean they are not sharing the same vertex correct so I, I cannot choose this vertex this edge as my matching edge why because this edge and this edge are adjacent to each other how it is adjacent it is sharing the same vertex here so this is actually called as matching this is how uh, so for this graph how will me by matching set e1 comma e3 okay this is called as matching and the most interesting part that i'm going to tell you now is two colorable graph Bipartite graph is called as two colorable graph. Why? Because a bipartite graph can be colored exactly using two color with a minimum two color. Why it is called so? Uh, see, you have uh, seen uh, maps, right? Uh, world map or India map. So when you look at the maps, a colored map, you can see uh, each state will be colored with different colors. If you consider the India map, each state will be colored with a different color. When you uh, look into it keenly. Uh, the map will be colored with the minimum number of colors and that uh, problem that they solve there is called as coloring problem. So that is called as graph coloring problem actually. So it is called as graph coloring. How do they color it actually is no two adjacent states will be of same color so you just have a look at the map and you'll come to know that so no two adjacent states will be of the same color so they'll be coloring for a particular uh, uh, vertex and they'll be coloring the next vertex which is not adjacent to it with the same color for example let me consider this graph i'll show you clearly see consider this graph so i'll name it as a b c and d so look at the graph if suppose i'm coloring the vertex uh, uh, a with red color say for example this red color cannot be red color cannot be given for b why because a and b are adjacent to each other they are sharing the same uh, edge right so a and b are adjacent to each other if it is adjacent we cannot share the same color Similarly, A and D are also adjacent, they are uh, sharing this edge, therefore D also cannot be colored with red color. A and C cannot be colored with red color again, why? Because A and C are adjacent to each other. So, red color cannot be given to any other edges, why? Because A is adjacent to all three edges. Coming to B, if not red color, let me choose, uh, say for example, green color. So, I am going to color this vertex with green color. So, if I am going to color this vertex with green color, the next edge will be compared with the green color. So, B and D are adjacent to each other because they are sharing the same edge. So, B, if B is colored with green color, D cannot be colored with green color. Why? Because they are adjacent. D also cannot be colored with red color. Why? Because it is adjacent to A. Therefore, with any other uh, way, we will be going to the next color, say for example, pink. D is a vertex which is going to be colored with pink color. If D is colored with pink color, we will be checking with the next vertex C. So, C either it can be colored with red, no. Why? Because it is adjacent to A. Either it can be colored with pink, no. Why? Because it is adjacent to D. Can it be colored with green color? Yes. Why? Because the green colored vertex B is not adjacent to C. Therefore, I can color it here so no two adjacent vertices will be colored with the same color that is the main criteria here so this is called as coloring problem okay and the main constraint is uh, minimum color we are supposed to use the minimum color so this is the main criteria for the graph coloring so i say that bipartite graph is two colored graph so with a minimum of two color, I can color a bipartite graph. Therefore, bipartite graph is also called as a two color graph. Okay. So, how it is so? Let me show you here. See, uh, let's consider this bipartite graph. So, this is my 
bipartite graph and these are all the edges say for example ok ok now let me tell you that I am going to color uh, this uh, one vertex with red color since one is colored with red color it is adjacent to uh, four right so four cannot be colored with red color so it will be colored with green color say for example ok now two uh, two I can if if I say that I color it with uh, let me consider it like this okay okay anyway it is also a bipartite graph right so if I color it if I color the vertex 2 with red color say for example again this 2 cannot be applied for 5 I mean the red color cannot be applied for 5 and similarly red color cannot be applied for, uh, for 5 why because it is adjacent to 1 therefore I will be using green color again here and again if I come to this place green color cannot be used here why because it is adjacent to 5 so green color cannot be used to 3 why because 5 was using green and these two are adjacent therefore I will be using red color and if I come to this part 6 cannot be colored with red color therefore why because 3 is having red and 3 is adjacent to 6 therefore it will be using green color so the main thing that you need to remember is bipartite graph uses only two color and one more interesting thing is that two color is given for two distinct set of vertices one color is given to x distinct set and the other color is given to y distinct set so the bipartite graph is two colorable graph and one color is given to x uh, vertex set and other color is given to y vertex set so this is the introduction for uh, maximum matching using bipartite graph so let's discuss uh, the actual problem in the next video thank you